boys and girls, you know, Sunday is Mother's Day. So today I wanted to share with you two books about moms. And the first book I want to share is this book. You know, our moms are so wonderful. And there are lots of reasons that they are so wonderful. And this book tells us some of those reasons. 31 Uses for a Mom, Harriet Siegbert and Rebecca, I think it's Doty or Dowdy. Not really sure. This book says for all moms and substitute moms, and we could also add grandmas in there too. 31 Uses for a Mom. One, she's a clock. She tells us when we need to be somewhere, doesn't she? She's a chauffeur, which means she drives us around to all our activities and to school. She's a hairstylist and a tailor. A tailor means she sews up our clothes when they need to be mended. Or maybe she might even make you something to wear. That's what a tailor is. A navigator which is someone who tells you where you need to go, in what direction, kind of like a GPS these days, and a doctor. Fixes all your boo-boos. A pitcher, a catcher, and a retriever. Encyclopedia. That's a long word that means she tells us things, teaches us things. And an accompanist, which means she might play with us on the piano or some other musical instrument. She's a beach chair and a bottle opener. She's a taster a fixer-upper, and a photographer. I bet she takes a lot of pictures of you, doesn't she? She's a tooth puller. Y'all might need some help with that soon. And a party planner. She's a ruler. Does your mom measure you to see how, how tall you've grown? And an opponent, which means she likes to play games with you. A personal shopper. An answering service. And costume designer. She's a thermometer and a pet sitter. A mixer, a bank, and a tweezer. Do you ever get a splinter? And she gets it, her tweezers and helps you get it out. Ouchie. These are my favorite, a hand holder and a page turner. Last one is, she's your friend. I bet your mom does a lot of those things for you and you can probably think of some others, okay? The second book I wanna share with you is, What Moms Can't Do. This little dinosaur is helping his moms because there's a lot of things she can't do. So let's get started. This book is uh, written by Douglas Wood and the pictures are drawn by Doug Cushman. What moms can't do. There are lots of things that regular people can do, but moms can't.
Moms can't wait to wake up kids in the morning. And they can't make the bed without lots of help. Moms can never pick out just the right clothes. And they have trouble keeping things cleaned up. Moms can't have yummos with purple marshmallows for breakfast. Only coffee or tea or yogurt or bran flakes. Yuck. They need a little advice when they're packing lunches. What he wants in his lunch, a popsicle. Don't think that's a good idea. Moms can't run very fast. Sometimes mom can't even hear themselves think. Whatever that means. Moms are not good at saying goodbye. Even to the teacher. Moms can't push grocery, grocery carts fast enough. And sometimes they need help opening doors. Moms don't know how to keep salamanders in their shirts. Or toads in their pockets. Moms aren't very good tacklers. And they can't make a basket on their own. Moms are easy to squirt, but they have a hard time squirting you, usually. <laughs> Moms really don't like to watch movies by themselves. and sometimes they need protection during the scary parts. They feel much better with someone on their lap. Moms can't let go of a hug without a kiss, or two, or nine. There are lots of things moms can't do, more than you can count, but there's one thing they do better than almost anyone. What do you think that is? And that's love you. It's the best thing they can do, right? Hope you like those stories about moms and I wish all your moms happy Mother's Day and we'll see you next time. Mwah. Miss you. Bye-bye.